Hi everyone and welcome back to Sakuri Security's Guide to WPCLI. Today we're going to take a look at installing WordPress. So the first thing you need to do is get connected just like we showed you in the first video and install WPCLI. And then we need to decide if we're going to install WordPress in the main site or if it's just going to be part of a subfolder like your blog. If you are installing it in just a section of your site, you need to make that directory now by typing make dir and then cd into that directory so that that's where you'll be installing WordPress. Now for me, we're going to be installing it in the main folder, so we won't actually do this step. So once you're where you need to be installing WordPress, type WP Core Download. It's going to get the latest files from the repository. Now on my server, there's a couple little issues that are very minor, so just ignore the warnings that come up here. <laughs> what we are focusing on is that WordPress has downloaded successfully. And we can always check that as well by typing ls, and you'll see that the WordPress files and folders are all there. Now we need to create our WP config file. To do this, type WP core config, and then we need to enter all the same information, your DB host, your DB name, DB user, and DB password. These are all going to start with a double dash, and in between is an equal sign. So you want to make sure to pay careful attention to the syntax, otherwise you will get an error. Once you have entered everything successfully, you'll get a little message that the wp-config.php file was generated successfully. Before we move on, we just want to add some secure permissions on the wp-config.php file by typing chmod 644 wp-config.php. And here you won't get a success message, but it would let you know if there was an error. Now we want to type wp-core install. For this, we have to set a few more parameters the URL of your final website as it will be. You can make a title for your website as well. This will show in search engines and in the top part of your site after it's complete. You also want to set your admin name. This is what you're going to be using to log in to the WordPress dashboard. Your admin name also needs a really nice strong password. And you want to set the email as well. Make sure, again, to pay attention to the syntax, the double dashes at the front, and the equal signs in between. You'll get another success message when it's installed successfully. We're just going to finish up here by typing cd wp content to go into your wp content folder and make dir uploads. This uploads folder is commonly attacked, so we're going to change group web uploads and chmod775 uploads. These two commands are just adding some extra security to this directory to keep hackers from exploiting it. And there you are, you're actually done now. So if you refresh your website, you should see that WordPress is freshly installed. Everything is ready to go as long as your DNS is set up. And from here, you can just go into the WP admin folder and log in using the admin user and password that you just created. And you should be able to get started creating great content. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for next time.